Welcome class to another brand new unit and this is the one that deals with Mexican Americans or Latinx during World War II. World War II from 1939 all the way up to 1945 there were more Mexican born of Mexican American parents. This is the third generation of Mexican Americans born and raised in the US who were eager to take advantage of what the US had to offer despite all the wide open segregation practices. World War II, even more than World War I, greatly stimulated growth of the agribusiness and industries throughout the U.S. Southwest. And that's how the U.S. came up with the Bracero program. Mexicanos in Mexico are recruited from American companies so they can come and work in the agribusiness. Over 100,000 contracts were signed between 1943 and 1945 to recruit and transport Mexican workers to the U.S. for employment on the railroads, you name it, in the war industry, in the agribusiness. So once again, very similar to World War I. Many jobs and Mexicanos came with working permits, not as undocumentados, undocumented. World War II also had a direct impact on Latinx Mexican Americans who were born in the U.S. because they were drafted or volunteered for the U.S. Armed Services to fight in World War II. According to the data that we have, about 300,000 Mexican Americans were drafted and they went to fight during World War II. By the time they got back, they had the highest percentage of Congressional Medal of Honors winners of any minority in the U.S. That's incredible. Sadly, by the time these people were coming back, they were second-class citizens. A lot of them went back to the same practices of being segregated. And they also have to rejoin forces and come up with a new organization to fight all this discrimination. And that's the case of Felix Longoria that we are going to cover during this week. We're going to cover the Suit Suit Riot, which is one of the most serious incidents of discrimination that took place during World War II. We're going to get to watch the film done by PBS that goes by the name of the Suit Suit Riots. The incident got the name based on the suit suit that was worn by many young Mexican Americans in the early 1940s. And this is the so-called Pachuco style, as you're going to learn in your film. We'll continue with the 1940s next week because there's too much to cover. And we're going to cover the segregation cases, especially the one dealing with Mendes versus Westminster. And I'm going to stop right here, but that's the main core for this week. Have a good one.